All right, good morning and welcome to Safi Breakfast Show. It is a lovely Thursday morning here in New Orleans, the capital city of Adamore State. And um, yes, it's still a feverish morning, a uh, very cold morning. <laughs> you know, a bit cold because <laughs> honestly speaking, yesterday it's difficult for me to you know really adjust to this weather. But um, I'm doing my best to catch up with the mood. Uh, my name is Aaron Isaac. It's indeed a pleasure to have you join us on the program. Welcome on the program. I'm Yetunde Ochivi. I'm enjoying the weather anyway. Yes, um, for many people, many other people like you, uh, you'll definitely enjoy the weather. Why many other people like um, you? For those whose uh, fat level is uh, fatty level is a bit uh, on the high side. Uh, yeah, do you know, if, I, if you and me should go on the scale now, you may be way more than I do. It's not a question of weight. It's a question of fat content. Uh. So don't, 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 oh, don't okay. just go there. Okay. Don't step carefully. Okay. So it's the weight thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, not even bother. <laughs> the point, the point is, uh, there are preferred weather for you know different yeah, for persons. different persons. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's yeah, and I, when the weather is humid again, you know, mm. it, it has a, an effect on you. And when it is extremely hot, like we yeah. used to experience it, you know, uh, come May June. You know uh, how that. If you want to see the bags on your today eyes, let it be during the heat. Uh, and trust me, there's no electricity. Goodness. Me. And uh, you understand. Said, can you not? Can you not <laughs> take me to that level, to that point in time yet? I don't want to. Okay. So how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I am doing great. And how's the economy treating you? <sighs> not fair. Yeah. Not uh, fair. I think every one of fair. us would say the economy is not treating us fair. Even if you are a business tycoon, you have one reason to complain about the economy. Definitely, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that so. is just uh, for those for those whose businesses are still thriving, you know, during this particular period. I really, really did uh, I do give them uh, kudos and thumbs up and saying well done to them for sustaining and still staying afloat yeah. to you know continue to. Uh, uh, turn the wheels of their businesses and all of that mm. uh, because it's not easy anybody that tells you it's easy in this particular season or period yeah. uh, you need to check the person well yeah. I think we need to send EFCC after the person to investigate <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we we'll just say that we we'll just say that on the <laughs> because I actually spoke with um, someone uh, that uh, will be requiring a drill and he, he said it's not about the the drill it's about the cost of the drill yeah. The materials, the materials involved. involved. Yeah. You know, before now, you buy pipes at this particular, you know, reasonable mm. price, and today you can't get it at that reasonable price. The cost uh, of diesel is diesel, it? diesel, the, the almighty thing. diesel. That's the big, the biggest boy in drilling. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest boy them. in drilling, and um, the price is. It's, it's astronomical, so it becomes very difficult. So, for anyone who's actually thinking of a drill right about now, you, you should, you should, you know, dig, Not dig deep drill. into your Not pocket. Anything you're thinking of, yeah. if you're thinking of embarking on a project, a housing project, cement. I tell is, you, you are a big boy or girl. <laughs> yeah, cement. The price of cement is something else. You can imagine. Uh, whatever you want to do at this moment in time. Uh, Times are hard. But even at that, you still have people who, you know... No, people still... Who have the grace. Yeah. But there's something I listen. I listened to one program. I uh, cannot really recall where I uh, heard that particular program. The man said, for those who are taking on due advantage of people because they offer one form of services or sell one, one particular product, uh, at make, taking on due advantage of people, they should realize that. What they're doing, they will also reap of it. This is by implication. It's a circle. If I sell petrol, for instance, and say yes, there's price increase, and instead of me to do it within a normal, you know, level, go the, I go overboard. And um, people who buy from me, according to him, are persons who may perhaps sell other items. That you I may come back reflect to it. Buy. And he said the funny thing is, I will, people will complain that I'm selling my petrol at a very uh, high price, exorbitant price, and I forget that I inflated prices. If I go to buy certain things from other persons oh, and the price is increased, from you. and I will be quarreling <laughs> them that, why did you increase the price? What's wrong with you? Don't you know Nigeria is hard? But I say and what goes around comes around. And I was kind of, I was like taken aback. I said, that is true. But most persons don't seem to realize we this. We don't think 
towards that direction all we think about is the immediate gain we can you know achieve within this particular short period yeah. uh, yes petrol I am happy that story is gonna change but I'll make sure I'll mention that mm. but the immediate gain is all we are out for it's yeah. all we care yeah. about yeah. we don't think about how this particular inflation of prices of common I mean uh, petroleum products for instance inflates all the prices of other commodities sure. and you go around to buy them mm -hmm. to also you know mm -hmm. so what you do in turn comes around to you so like I'm saying uh, the, that change I'm, I'm referring to is the fact that the Namgote refinery is going to be oh, yeah up very soon very soon and uh, we're all expectant. on the 24th yes, right? we're all expect expectant you know what still baffles me according to uh, a narration I heard of you know research about that particular refinery, refinery. it said it says it's one of the no it's the best in the world like the largest now, in the world uh, yes using I, I, state I, of still, the art technology and i'm still trying to come to terms with that yeah yet in the, because of its production capacity yeah yeah and um you know it's it's, it's one of the latest refinery huge sure, project that's sure, you know sure. constructed anywhere across across the globe and that gives it that particular position right now that it enjoys until there's another person who's going to set up such kind of a business it occupies that particular space. That's the glory it's enjoying right about now. And one interesting thing I love about the refinery is if they go with what they said, it's going to trade in Naira. It's not going to trade in dollar. If that can happen, yes, it's going to boost our currency, the value of our, as it's not a green bag, it's not a green, it's not a green bag. Our Naira, right, right now, what's the highest denomination? It's a thousand Naira. Mm. So what do we call that color? Right about now, I am color dull. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Not blind. It, 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 it will add value to our currency because mm. if that becomes the medium of exchange, you know, for that particular product, because he's not going to only produce for the domestic market, mm. he's also going to export the product sure. outside. And, and so it will, one, help, you know, change the narrative concerning our, our, our currency and um, also boost our chances and also reduce the, the, the troubles Nigerians go through mm. to just get this uh, you know commodity and if the government would you know think in the right direction especially at this uh, you know the next coming president if the person would think in the right perspective we're not saying privatize because already we have a private refinery mm -hmm. make the refineries functional yeah so that in a way it serves as a, a, a bridge between what the private business is doing and what the government is doing on the hand to help, you know, regulate prices. That's what we see they do in other clients. You have the private business running concurrently with the, with, with, with the public business or the government business. That way, it is used to check prices where yes. people want to take on due advantage of the uh, of there's of, a control there's mechanism, a control mechanism yeah. you know embedded in it because if you're saying ah it's my private business let me just choose, let me let me fix people prices people have alternative they the go to the public yes they the go government. to the public uh, yeah. you know business to buy from there that way i think it will stabilize yeah another aspect to this is that we're going to enjoy mm. the availability of other byproducts from the fruit yeah without uh without stress without sending you know, crude oil out you know and just import petrol back only in crude Do you know uh, how let me just let me just let, let's just mention five out of other byproducts that are okay. you know within uh, uh, that particular uh, uh, uh substance you we have, have kerosene. kerosene we have you have diesel yes you have, have gas you have gas you uh, have, have uh, petroleum jelly. Yes. It's also from there. You also have the aviation fuel. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, kerosene A1. A1, yeah. You get it there. Uh, and there's one other one I'm, I'm trying to recall. Okay. So it has. It is said to be about, if I if I get that correctly, more than more than ten. If I get that correctly. Yeah, there are a lot of byproducts from this crude we sent out. Just import. The premium petroleum, uh, the Water premium spirit. spirits, and then we, we we allow for this other the byproducts to 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 you know to waste, so to say. And back home, we use some we use this byproduct. We use gas, for instance, for cooking. We use uh, kerosene for cooking and other other domestic use. We still have you know how much uh, 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 a ticket for for flight is right about now <laughs> maybe it may goes to abuja or, uh, or even yola to abuja for instance you're paying in hundreds of thousands and if we have this available 
maybe a lot of us will not even want to ply you know the road anymore. You, you, you know fly. the thing is, uh, even the gas. The thing is, we flare. We flare gas. Thing. Yes, we that, flare that's, gas that's because we don't have. That's the most unfortunate thing very, very about, unfortunate. about it. We flare and waste, and um, it is contributing to what the world global is referring warming. to it as global warming today. Uh, we don't. I think we've not really paid serious attention to the wastage of gas mm. in Nigeria. And today it is championed as the you know best alternative to cooking, cooking. Uh, for homes. It saves it yes. saves a lot. It saves time mm. and um, it saves a pot, especially for women who <laughs> have to go. You know, and it's fast. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it, it cooks fast and all of that. We flare our gas without actually thinking of how to properly convert and utilize it for other purposes. And that's a trouble for us because so, I believe we have these natural resources, we ought to use them rightly, but unfortunately it is not the case. In order to, let me still borrow uh, His Excellency's word, uh, the former Vice President, the word restructuring. Yeah. In a way, you talk restructuring, I think you know, it comes thing, to mind. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it comes, comes to, to mind because he's a champion for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, in order for us to restructure the system as a whole, there are a lot of work that needs to go into it. Definitely. For, yeah, for Definitely. instance, you have in other climes, this gas we're talking about, they are piped into people's homes. Mm. All you need to do is get a cooking a cooking uh, ware. And just And you, you connect it. The gas is available. It is embedded in, you know, I don't know how See, to that's do what the you work. Find, that's what you find in Europe and um, parts of the Americas. That's what you find there. Similar to what we have with our with our depots, mm, I mean, depot here. The, yeah. You have them piped through all the regions mm. and where, wherever you see a depot is situated. It, it's supposed to, we're supposed to produce oil, pump into this depot, and then they'll be able to distribute within the regions and states. Yeah, but, but today we don't even make use of these channels. The, the, we the, allow the them depots to Depots have to been drop. crippled uh, because of some unscrupulous Nigerians. Uh, now, the unscrupulous Nigerians I refer are in two categories here. Yeah. The first categories are those who are, you know, pampered by oil marketers mm. to allow mm. for their trailers to go fetch the fuel from Lagos, Badagod, mm. and you know the likes to bring them down to uh, you know to their different you know, destinations Locations. because they make extra money, extra cheese from it. Then the other set of unscrupulous Nigerians, which are the most dangerous set mm. of unscrupulous Nigerians, Vandalizers. are the ones who rupture the pipes, Vandalizers. vandalize it. Because we have this pipes network spread across major major states in Nigeria. Adamo State is one of such states, Aboriginal uh, State is another, mm. and other states also that have these depots. Unfortunately, most of the pipes have been ruptured because people take on due advantage of it. They are criminals, they are thieves. Uh, they rupture this pipe and Siphon fuel, yeah. and unfortunately, they cannot siphon all, and the rest is left to you know pollute it. Yeah, this is this particular you know uh, 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 infrastructure is is built to reduce stress. For instance, if we have this depot working, we have stress. Uh, I mean. Will have a stress free road in the sense that all these tankers that ply the yeah, roads will, not, not, will, not, will no longer be plying the yeah. roads. Uh, our roads will last longer. We'll have less accidents of, you know, maybe tankers exploding. And less carnages, yeah, because these yeah. carnages want too many. So, there are a lot of things that have been, you know, a lot of ideas and thoughts that have been put into, you know, I mean, making these infrastructures work. But we continue to sabotage it and we come back to say the government is not working. Okay, uh, so. Going back to what you asked of, uh, we have asphalt from as a byproduct. Okay. We have um, nephthal. Nef we have natural gas. We have um, butane. We have, yeah, I remember. Have butane propane. was the one. What uh, You have paraffin for. wax. You have waxes. You have petroleum jelly. You have. Uh, it's so it's it's one too many. Grisolin, aspirin, a lot. Protesti, uh, protestis. So it's one too many. These are just some of the byproducts of crude that we have in excess in Nigeria. And we are not taking advantage of it. We decide, it. no, it's only petrol we want. We find, bring, the landing cost is something, we'll come back, we'll buy it at yeah. a very, and, very high and, price. And, and as we speak up to this very moment, you know, there was a time we were having a, you know, a, one of our post-mortem and I asked the question, why do they make it feel as if government is going through a lot. I don't understand the metrics around the oil <laughs> market though, but I, I used my common understanding here today. This is just what I was trying to you know, refer to. Um, Nigeria exports crude oil. It exports crude oil. 
with the name, with the aim to make money for this country. Uh, after exporting, it complains of importing just one product from the many several other products from the crude oil. It brings it back to the country and there is this complaint that bringing important petrol to this country is costly. Mm. And I try to sit down and wonder, if we export to make money, why importing can complain? My, my confusion again about this whole thing, and I think we really do need... I don't care. understand the metrics a lot of Nigerians, Yeah, a lot of Nigerians also need explanations to all of this. You have a channel through which you export the crude in order to be refined and be brought back. No, we, we don't refine and, brought back and bring back. Yesterday, we sell the crude, we buy just one product. <laughs> and we bring that, back does, to the country. Does that make sense? You understand? It doesn't. Because the sole importer of petroleum product in this country is the NNPC. Mm. And there is this huge complaint around buying it and bringing it back to the country. And, and so one begins to wonder, what is it about that particular market, the circle of that market, that we don't, you know, yet it's understand? It's a cartel. It's a and cartel, so, so you wouldn't understand. Where we would have a proper understanding is if we can leverage on the functionality of the Dangote refinery. Mm. That will tell us exactly the volume of what we are missing out on, or maybe perhaps what we are getting, what we're gaining from from the you know previous order. Nigerians will have to have this particular understanding mm -hmm. because it will create you know a clearer perspective of how the oil business is run. That's, and that's just what I see. Yeah, and I hope that happens. That, yeah, we can only keep our fingers crossed and wait for time to tell yeah. whether or not uh, some of these things are going to be as easy as we, you know, blabber okay. about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there, there's this you know, cherry news coming. Let's at least let's uh, mm. let's uh, let's uh, give the people something to share before we get to other you know conversation. Uh, is it Ocean State? Is it Ocean Arundo State? I know. Yes, they have. Uh, they are implementing the six months maternity leave for. Maternity or maternity, yeah, yeah. maternity, six and, months and three months for paternity. And, and no, 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 no. It's unbearable. Oh, I was waiting for that. No, no, no. no. Why? What's three wrong? month paternity leave. What's wrong with yes. You? For what? Let's have that. Why? It's called parenting. Parenting is not one sided. Hello. Never mind her, please. Okay, let's I'm hear so the cherry news. <laughs> Uh, this state is, is leading the park because even at the federal level, it's four months. Mm. It's four months. Uh, they are doing six months. And um, what they said is, of the six months, why the wife is at home, the husband also will enjoy a two weeks grace to also help her go through that fever pitch moment and help calm her nerves for two weeks. Uh, so, which automatically makes him the errand boy because. You know, women take on due advantage of these moments. I want, have for three months. <laughs> I want purpose. I want this. I want that. I want that. So they say the man should be home, oh, at least to so help sweet. her through this moment. Aww. Now, uh, I think for me, yes, I consider that very imper imp imperative and important, based on the fact that um, a lot of uh, children are not really enjoying the benefit of, you know, s sticking to their parents at that particular early stage, and it's a crucial moment for them. Mm. Uh, so it's going to encourage, you know, exclusive breastfeeding and then that bond between the parent and the child. And that way, at least we are building, uh, we are fostering a, str a stronger family tie where the child, you know, gets the very best and attention is given to the child. Two weeks. Uh, yes, two weeks for the. Mm. the <laughs> mm -hmm. I am not buying that. No, no, no. Two weeks is not enough. So I think two weeks is okay for the men. But do you know what? Fight it. It's the okay. two weeks. Believe you me, some men would think it's a holiday for them. They will, that's when they will go chatting and you know, you know, hanging out and doing other things. No, a, we're going to implant a tracker on the man to know whether they judiciously use the two weeks <laughs> or not. <laughs> I tell you, some would think it's a break. Okay. Woman, um, the African culture. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to even talk uh, about. Uh, that. Uh, would you have, uh, by chance, uh, have um, what to know what the case is? Adam, the case in, is in Adama. 
Well, I, I don't know. How many months for the... I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. We need a three months bro. Okay. <laughs> a three months paternity for the man as well to right, stay home it's, it's been and course. help with the... Auto, Lagos See, also, parenting... Lagos is doing it, isn't it? Yes, yes. And given, but I'm not sure of... It's not of, up to six of, months. Of, of but the amount of... Yeah, because I, I, I was actually listening and they said uh, they, this particular state, either you know, on the ocean, uh, they are I leading the pack. Uh, they are leading the pack in terms of states that, are, and even the federal at the federal mm -hmm. level, because there is six months straight for the for the mother, and um, for the fathers is two is two is two weeks. Lagos, I know they're observing two weeks for the mm -hmm. fathers also, which is interesting, and I wish it's cut down to one, so that the man will just spend just a week at home and get back to work uh, to continue to hustle. I, I feel that will be will make much sense. Uh, I know she's looking at me right now. Uh, please, we should. Is the woman not hustling? <laughs> Why would she stop, give us a three, a three, a three months or a six months? Just you know. Stop. Yeah, today she stopped looking at me. That is one. she not hustling? <laughs> uh, your hustle, your hustle level is not as high as that. But level. it's still called hustling. Yours is called hustle. <laughs> Okay, fine. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna argue with you. No, 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 no. I'm not. Um, but it is important, really, that um, both parties, the father and the mother, be available for the children. Sure, I agree. I agree. Because uh, going by what we see in the society today, you know, there's this disconnect oh. within the family unit and and the result is what we see of some of our children on the streets some of our children you know some of their behaviors and all of that because of this disconnect because of this lack of bond unity because of uh, lack of uh, you know more or less disciplinary measure by both parties yeah. on the children to be able yeah. to shape them for uh, a better society. Mm. Uh, I think we need to bring back that culture, we need to bring back those norms and values mm. that we hold so dearly, that has shaped you know, some of us, that today we are still talking about how uh, you know, deteriorating uh, the, 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 the yeah. family unit and of course our value systems are, are becoming. It's, yeah, in, it's, it's in eroding here today, yeah. it's eroding, and I'm not happy about it, I'm not pleased about it. And one way we can change that is to bring back this family mm. value and one step to do that is this measure because at this point whether I like it or not for everyone who follow it religiously things would change mm. for instance six months two weeks the bond would be there to change that is if you would do it religiously yeah. but if you just you know, uh, you know student, then two, why I'm even saying two weeks a, 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 a two week old baby does not really no, know no, but, but, but for even the, the <laughs> family for instance if you do it religiously the man is home for two weeks yeah. having to nurse the, the wife mm. it yeah she will, she will be able to yeah you there's a, a, some kind of relief from yeah. you know doing other things while she concentrates on uh -huh. taking care of and, 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 and if you have rock patches before that brings you together. You mend them. You mend them. So that's just about it. Uh, good news. I think um, the Edo story is coming to an end. The, mm. the train, uh, yeah. you know, the two that were still left uh, have, not, have now been, you know, also uh, rescued. Mm. And I was listening to the information, uh, the commissioner for information of the Edo State. Okay. Uh, yeah, read out, you know, the successes gained mm. uh, about the whole rescue thing. And some people that were actually arrested in connection yeah, to this connection. particular. I think they started with one first one person last week, mm. and now the numbers. Increased. The numbers are yeah has increased about mm. six or nine. I can't yeah. remember, but, uh, but it's, it's a good news, of course. And then the the last two that were still held are now have now you know Again, regained freedom. yeah freedom and uh, have been reunited. So it's a good story. It's it it tells us that uh, we can get things done as a nation if we wish to do it. Yeah. Yeah, the wish and the political will to do to yeah. do that as well. So uh, we just need to be firm about our decisions. We need to be firm about some policies, especially of government and all of that. And of course, be willing to ensure that we enforce some of these policies so that uh, we can get the benefits yeah. of it. And especially as we count days to so, uh, you know general elections, we're calling on all, especially stakeholders. We have stakeholders, key stakeholders in uh, you know management of elections and. Um, the law enforcers are key mm. stakeholders in this in this particular state. Uh, beef up your you know strategies and let's see you step up your game in guaranteeing that uh, there will be a safer election come twenty twenty. Uh, come uh, about, how many days from now? About thirty plus yeah, days. Less, less. Yes, less than forty days. I think it should be 37, 36, 37 mm -hmm. days to the election. Let's see you you know beef up your strategies and you know have your your men everywhere. 
to you know give Nigerians a confidence that uh, yes we would have a peaceful poll. Already before now there were issues concerns you know arisen mm -hmm. that the election might all of these possibilities were, were looked into it and basically the, the reason why there was this might mm. case is because of the insecurity yeah, sure. and um, the only way Nigerians will be confident that the election will hold is when we see the presence of these but uh, you know law enforcers you know everywhere and they are working to prove to us that yes it will happen I think that way Nigerians would have repose confidence in them so we're just keeping our fingers crossed and every Nigerian we are asking you to do the right thing especially for those who are yet to pick up their PVCs. Mm -hmm. I know the bottlenecks are still there. Uh, it's not difficult, it's not easy for so many persons because I was listening to a commentary where someone said she's been at a particular INEP office for over four days and she's yet to collect her PVC. Whoa. Uh, so you, you understand uh, what people have to, have go, to go through, through uh, to pick up their PVC. And that is why we That we're, doesn't mean they should give up. It doesn't mean... But she, yeah. she, she is saying that after the fifth day, she's no longer going there. Uh, yeah, and so we shouldn't frustrate people. Uh, I know it's not easy. Uh, the more reason why we've been calling for advocating for mm. decentralization mm. of the of the collection center, just decentralize it. Uh, I know, I know of a woman, my neighbor actually. Um, she took it upon herself to go collect the ones from her own village. Mm. She also she collects them from here. Yeah. Take them to Demsa. Go to. Travel down to her village and from door to door where she knows these people reside. Okay. You know, going to give them because okay. she, what she she says she wants the change. You know, she is so desired. So she would take it. She would take up the pain to ensure that people get their PVCs, especially okay. those who she knows. So yeah. uh, these are some of the sacrifices some people do make yeah. to ensure that uh, we we we're able to achieve a very uh, good uh, success during the election. So it is a civic responsibility, and we are called to it once and four years and um, I don't see why we shouldn't do it. Mm. It's just once in four years where we elect who will be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A great nation, a nation filled with opportunities, a nation with blessed people. Nigeria is the best place or best place on planet Earth. I Trust me. Uh, if I am to, bo to be born again to this world, I would, if I can make a request, I will tell God please send me back to Nigeria because Nigeria is an interesting place. Yeah, not, to, not, 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 not <laughs> any other place. Not any other place. Okay, the so whole let's, drama, right? let's bring you into the show and tell you what's uh, what to look out for, uh, look out for on the show today. But first off, we'll do a time travel to find out what happened on a day like this in history. On a day like this, in 1966, following the sudden death of Indian pri Premier La Bahadu Shatri, eight days earlier, India, in, Indiana Gandhi became Prime Minister of India on this day. In 1966, assuming the office first held by her father, Jawaharlal Nehru. So, what happened on a day like this in 1966? Uh, also, on a day like this in 1946, uh, we travel to history American country music singer, guitarist, and actress Dolly Patton, who was best known for pioneering the interface between country and pop music style, was born. Dolly. Dolly, Dolly. Yeah, Please but this song is, I think, is a coat of many colors, right? Okay, and then uh, she made popular the coat of many colors. Coat of many colors. Uh, yes, for those of us who still remember this popular tune. Mm. Uh, if there's, uh, you know, an audio a underneath. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So, um, she still is relevant in the industry, she's still impacting the industry. And um, we're feeling how much value she's added to it. She doesn't just do music any longer. She does she does movies also, and um, she has a voice that is unique to her. You don't find two of such voices anywhere. Mm -mm. Patterns voices, voice rather is unique. Her voice is extremely unique. Uh, this legend, this icon, music star, was born on a day like this. In 1946 and imagine she's still strong very uh, I'm, 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 I'm trying to recall one of the movies she acted double platinum yeah double platinum. Mm -hmm. yeah she, she was yeah she was. okay so uh don't worry I have a singing group and um, ah, <coughs> join me 
Uh, yesterday is going to be my backup singer. Excuse me. And I will... I'm doing that with you. <laughs> nay, nay, nay. Yeah. Aren't you glad that I'm making I'm a backup no, singer? No, no. Okay. Backup. <laughs> Seriously. Right. <laughs> so uh, this is what we have for you on the offering today. We'll be looking at development around the face of the unending face off between ASO and the federal government. Already the government has given recognition to two other unions and um, not just recognition, their registration is completed and dusted with. Uh, what does this mean, you know, in um, the fascist institution level in the area of unionism and the demands of um, unionists to the betterment and welfare of the, uh, you know staff and institutions. We'll be learning about this from uh, the ASU chairman, Modibab Adama University here in Yola, as he gives us perspective and also update us on the outcome of their net meeting. Mm. Uh, politics is also part of uh, the conversation this morning. This time around, we're going to be, you know, spotlighting why we need to talk about issues and not just to you know, dehumanize, to talk down on people, character assassination, hate speech, and mm. all of those, yeah. you know, trendy words that are in the public domain right about now. Talk to the issues and not the personality. We're going to be playing host to a seasoned uh, politician. I, I wanted to say journalist. A seasoned politician <laughs> who is also going to be part of this show, you know, for us to be able to talk about some of these issues and why it is important. Okay, um, we sit, uh, have other regular features on the program today, but in the meantime, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll be looking at uh, the front pages of select national dailies. Do stay with us. This is Ikolo Community, and this is Otana Community. As election time nears, politicians arrive with money. Members of Ikolo Community sell their vote, but Otana Community refuses to be settled. They vote for the candidates of their choice. I do solemnly swear that everything after I election. The Kolo school needs repairs, but the politician has already settled them. <laughs> Otana hospital needs repairs too. Otana community demands action and gets results. Your vote is powerful. It builds the future. Don't be settled. No, see, don't look. No, see, don't look. No, see, don't look. No, see, don't look. All right, you're welcome back. This is Safia Breakfast Show. It's uh, time for us to deliver the daily dose of um, the dailies, stories they have to offer. We have uh, four people who uh, take a look at. Um, fortunately, today we're not going to have an in-house review, so we'll just gloss and talk over some few headlines as presented by the dailies. Uh, today, you know, it's an interesting day because there's lots of stories to, to, to talk to. Let's begin with a punch newspaper, and um, we we'll, speak to developments in uh, the bilateral ties between other countries and Nigeria. Oh, multilateral this time around, not <laughs> by <laughs> Nigeria owes China, Japan, Germany two orders, 4.85 billion US dollars. Is this, uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> in Mirfile appeals court summons. The money's <laughs> The body got to error, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's choking. Uh, a Mayfield appeals court summons challenges judge. Uh, the intrigues yesterday. I, I don't know why this is so. Uh, the intrigues surrounding, you know, a Mayfield and you know, ever since his um, monetary policies mm. uh, set in and began to take play, uh, you know, pre uh, began to take uh, effect in, in 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 Nigeria, it's been one huddle for him to cross to another mm. and it appears it's not easy enough you don't expect him to at this point yeah where the whole situation has gotten to mm. you don't expect him to just you know 
throw in the towel or, yeah. or, or surrender. But, but, but what's the intrigues all about? I'm not saying if, he's, if, he's, if something is wrong, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be queried. Mm. I'm not mm. saying that. People shouldn't get me wrong. But I'm looking at the timing for everything. Mm. It was when this was mentioned that we started seeing all of this happening. It tells us as if there is there's an undertone to it. And that's where I, I feel a bit displaced over it. Well, um, <clears throat> maybe there are more that meets the eyes, but the point again is uh, I think uh, the can of worm was open when he showed interest in in politics. Okay. And, okay. and yeah. yeah, and of course, uh, wanted to also vie for you know the number one seat mm -hmm. of this of this nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people never expected that. That to have happened. Given the position he's holding, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe to to the displeasure of others, especially some politicians, and they were like, oh, okay. You also want to join us? Then you need to, okay. you know, come clean. Come clean, yeah. So, so if possibly, he would go, go to equity. What's going on? His side. So, uh, yeah, those are the well. From my point of view, those are yeah. the possibilities. Yeah. Okay. To to this. Uh, but I think um, I would say that um, certain things, uh, the way it's amplified by press, uh, should be looked at. Yeah, yeah. Because again, we, we, that's we, true. we give. Um, we are in a hurry to break the news. Okay. Sometimes right. we don't allow the, for the facts to gather. We don't just, allow, yeah, we just want to be the first to break news. Of course, it is good that you break the news, mm. but break the news when you have the facts. Exactly. Okay, uh, there's something, we're going back uh, to the past, to so unearth certain development that played out in Nigeria. Uh, a passenger once again has opened his mouth, mm -hmm. and you know when the former president... I was president listening to uh, Uzo Kalu yesterday <laughs> talk about, you know, him <laughs> and why he... Oh my goodness. When he opens his mouth, you know he has something to say, trouble. and it's going to cause stir. MV stopped Abiola from emerging president. This is according to Nigeria's former president, Olusegun Passenger. Uh, in other news, uh, for those who are fans of, um, you know, whiskey and David Do, there's something cooking and then we pray it becomes real. <laughs> it says fans excited over possible whiskey David Do historic tour. Uh, well, let's uh, see how that plays out. Uh, there's been a sour end between these two persons, and um, most of it is created, but it is helping them to make the money. Mm. Uh, but Nigerians don't seem to, to realize it. They definitely are. They have no hard feelings amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. It's for the business. The big story says fuel scarcity bites harder. Marketers blame NNPC Limited. An Ipman, Ryder says Ipman to sell petrol at 270 naira to a liter as supply gap widens. Lingas, NNPC GMD defense subsidy oil production now 1.52 million barrel per day. This is uh, what the government is saying. And I, I bought, I bought, um, you know, petrol for 310 naira to a liter. So 270 naira does not really paint the real picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what what we are dealing with. But that tells you how bad it is. And if you can see the punch newspaper, the front page. You see the picture gallery depicting what people are going through yeah, right yeah. about now. The long queues at filling station, unbearable queues at filling station, the hardship is The awful. chaos that does come. Yeah. Sometimes and so, it gets chaotic and you have people fighting over what you're going to use your money to buy. Yeah, and the Jerrican persons have a failed day. I don't know how they get the product. No, I, yeah, not a shocker. I, I know Nigerians know about this, but it's so, so unfortunate that we ourselves are the ones querying and crying foul of what we cost mm. ourselves. Okay. You have queues, you have people on the queue, you have people waiting to buy this product. You have some specific cars that come mm. to this station all tinted no, and everything. They are, they, are, they, are, they are filling station VIPs. No, 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 no. I'm not even talking about those. Well, uh, yeah. They are filling station VIPs. But what, see, you wait for close to one hour, 30 minutes, one particular car is being filled. Okay, those they who have, have more extra than tanks. Two, yes, exactly. They have extra tanks. Those are the vehicles I'm talking yeah. about, not the whole VIP thing. They have more than two drums mm. in a small stallet. And I wonder what kind of construction. When no, it's, it's done. It's done. I think I've I've seen that. I've come across it, and um, I don't know how to do that. And the petrol attendant don't tend to understand that it is not right, and um, they allow you to go. 
So it's, it's quite troubling here today, I understand that. And uh, so this is the moment we find ourselves, that's just mm. it. Okay, update on the Edo train incident. It says uh, train attack, two Edo chiefs, five orders arrested, so sad. FG asks US to Some of them are actually appointed to be connected connect, with the, yes. with the uh, kidnapping. Uh, FG asks US to probe Nigerian Don's death. Yeah, that happened in the United States, yes. And Delta 2022, monumental medal pad, uh, padding, taints national sport festival. I saw that, and the um, reason why a particular uh, sporting activity was also suspended, uh, we learned that um, the medal table was padded. Uh, to either give more medals to another state over another state and um, undue advantage, things like that. Uh, that should not have happened, but I think investigation is still looking into that. That does it on um, the Punch newspaper. All right, let's find out what's happening on the Nation newspaper this morning. Of course, I'm loving what is happening with the NDLEA in Nigeria, mm. headed by uh, former General Boba Mara retired. It says NDLEA seizes properties. 500 billion naira drugs in two years. And ever since this man came on board, it is always a success story. Well, that's the story. And he said he's not relenting. He's going to get to the root of the matter. So, and we we'll want him to. Yeah, drug we'll firearms in Nigeria to. are on their heels. Already about 34 of them mm. are in custody. Yeah, because we want to clean our streets. We definitely it's, do it's, have it's, to it's, clean it's, it. It's disturbing. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, APC PCC slams PDP for avoiding response to Atiku Gate. Okay, uh, this one talks about direct flight from. Um, okay, direct flight from Israel to Nigeria restarts in March. The story is on page seven. Why IG Usman's tenure was extended by minister. Yeah, uh, they say he cannot retire now. He has four years, but he cannot retire during election period. So you understand why he has to be uh, still uh, the IG of. Yeah, uh, you cannot have a new man mm -mm. at the saddle right now. Not at all. When we it's are gonna, it's very close, well close to the us. election. Yeah. Definitely. We deducted 3.3 trillion from Federation amount uh, from Federation from Federation account for subsidy according to NNPCL. Well, when this refinery comes on board, all this whole drama of subsidy, <laughs> well, uh, we we'll know where we we'll uh, trust, we we'll know where we we'll trust it. It's ending by June. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we'll continue through these intrigues until June. June, yeah. Mm. yeah. SNs, poll under threat by returning officers and powers. Mm. That is what uh, the senior advocates of Nigerians are saying. It says Ola, Ola de Pekun takes or rather raises concern over Section 65 of Electoral Act, while Agbakoba seeks clarification on Section 134 of 1999 Constitution. And that is why they also say there should be a constitutional review. <laughs> there. And even the, uh, the, the electoral arts, some section of it still yeah. needs to be amended. It's not a perfect document. It's not. It's, it's not, not a not. perfect document. Okay. Kwankoso LP is built on ethnic sentiments. Well, he was at Chatham House. Also, you know, given reasons why he needed to be uh, number one citizen in Nigeria going forward. And uh, his submission says about 24 years of... You know, uh, bad governance and whatever it is. It. I don't want to talk about it. Because no, those are some of his submissions. Yes, if you want to reel through the past, he was part of the system. Uh, yeah, well, but, so, but this is what he so, said. At so House. When I heard it, I, I was like, I was intrigued. I was like, what? Coming from you? <laughs> Because anyways, well, well, yeah, well, it's, you know, some it's, it's, of them, it's his views. Yes, yeah, some of them are. Well, some of them are not proud of what really yeah, you yeah, know happened his views. and all of that, yeah, and, views. and they are really regretting yeah. it. So I, I, I believe he, that is the reason why he's in the race because mm. he feels he, if given a chance, mm. he might he correct, might correct some, some of these uh, wrongs. All right, go over the other. Okay, papers. the Daily Trust. Let's uh, take <clears> a quick look at what the Daily Trust have for us today. Uh, can a governorship candidate sign peace accord? And that was done yesterday. Federal Executive Council proves 1.9 trillion naira for NNPC <coughs> uh, Limited, Company Limited, to build 44 roads across Nigeria. 
uh, impressive. Let's see how that would happen because most of our federal roads are dead traps already. But Bele, quote and unquote, prevented Abiola from becoming president. This according to, you know, former president Olusegun a passenger. The big story on the front page of the Daily Trust says, wrong choices responsible for Nigeria's woes. This is according to the one-time governor and former senator, Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso. And this was, uh, you know, captured from his brief in Chatham House alongside also uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate and the Independent National Electoral Commission chairman. They were, the trio were in, in uh, you know, in presentation in Chatham House. The writers there says, why merger talk with OB collapsed, as, you know, reflecting to your mm. story, what you read. Uh, when your polling units get appointments, contracts, Article tells PDP members, uh, this tag is kind of loose. Reject my husband's, my husband, okay, re reject my husband after four years if he underperforms Tenable Wife's campaigns. And don't vote along ethno religious line. This is what Obi has to say. And then you have picture gallery there. And um, other updates. Uh, so, yeah, today you can go on with the last paper. Okay, here's the Guardian newspaper this morning. On the Guardian, Let's go over what the CBN is saying. CBN allays fears over counterfeit new narrow notes. That was trending. <coughs> Yesterday, it was all over the news. New, fake new narrow notes are also in circulation. So people need to be very, very careful. There are um, some security chips also on the new narrow notes exactly. that you need to be aware of. But we have very... Limited, limited information, information about it. Yeah, about I agree. This. I agree. We need to and that is what the CBN, in collaboration with NOA, in collaboration with the media, needs to do in educating yeah. the people. But yeah. they are not collaborating. All right. Uh, quickly, let's run over some of the headlines again. Buhari OK is 1.9 trillion era for NNPC to reconstruct 44 federa federal roads. That was also given a nod by the Federal Executive Council meeting yesterday. Mm. Obong of Calabar re-elected days after sacking by Supreme Court. Uh, One billion US dollar anti-terrorism spending poses on Buhari's security successes. Yeah. It says... This created a stir when people yeah. saw it, yeah. Wednesday says, how over in invoicing lack of transparency make nation un unsafe. Mm. No price too high to pay for political uh, stability. While retired deputy IGP justifies anti-terrorism funding, insecurity worse under current administration, according to CISAL, uh, rather LAC. Mm. Uh, they are insisting on that. So you have other stories, but then the whole, the big story should also interest you on uh, the Guardian newspaper this morning. Yeah, that particular, you know, spending, mm. you know, created a stir in Nigeria. Why some look at it as it's, it's very on the high side. It is on the yeah, high side. But others will tell you that uh, there's no amount of money is, uh, you know, too much for. Too much but for we you need, to spend because, because the money is not accounted for, yeah. that is why we have and you know, this it, I think I, we should, we should query, you know, budget spending on, on, on certain no things in this especially. country. Uh, especially even at the state level, we have security vote for mm, governors mm. that is unaccounted for. Uh, we should be able to, you know, speak to the persons on how justifiable our spendings are. There's no hard feelings around that. But trust me, it's costly to fight insecurity, especially what, what we've seen in, in, in the Northeast. And it's the new gadget uh, by the military now, yeah. in order to help them, you know, fight terrorism. It's a good thing, yeah. but it costs money. It does. All right, those are the stories. <laughs> you can read up on their individual websites, or better still, you get a copy from a vendor nearest to you. Let's quickly take a break. When we come back, we'll take your comments on Facebook. on the march again as you vote to rescue the country from insecurity, corruption, hunger, poverty, unemployment and the economy. The Labour Party is the party to vote. 
Your vote for OB and a T4 president and vice president is a vote of competence that will rewrite the history of Nigeria. Ensure you collect your voter's card, PVC, and turn out in mass to vote for the Labour Party with the logo of the family. The journey to a brighter tomorrow begins with Peter Obi and Yusuf Ahmed Dati. Vote wisely. Vote the Labour Party for a prosperous Nigeria. This message is sponsored by Babachu David Lowen. Hello, honey. Remember, we're having salad for dinner. Okay. Don't forget to buy vegetables, please. William, can you please take me to the nearest ATM? Oga, no ATM for yet. CPS for front, sir. Make I pack, make I collect money, we won't collect. Customer, come now. Customer. Madam, I need 10,000 naira cash. Okay. There you go, sir. Thank you. Customer, thank you, eh? Thank you very much. Even big man, they use first money POS too. <laughs> I... Visit a first money agent to open an account, deposit, withdraw, transfer, buy airtime, pay bills, enroll for BVN, and more. You first. First bank. Bisa chan chan tel sa da gani irin yadda yake tafiyar da shugabanci a jihar Adamawa gwamna Ahmadu Umar Fintri ya samu karramawa daga jaridar leadership a shekarar 2029 yana biyan kudaden jarabawan Waik da Neko kyauta shakka babu iyan yara na farin cikin biyawa ayyan su Waik da Neko kyauta da gwamnatin sa ke yi kungiyar malamai ta kasa station jihar Adamawa ta bashi lambar yabo ya samu lambar yabo daga company business day a shekarar 2020 gwamnan ya sake samu lambar yabo akan gwamnan fi bada muhimmanci akan cigaba harkar ilimi a jihar sa a shekarar 2020 Amin Saku ni daga Alhaji Awolu A A Duhu Shugaban Company CIBC Group Limited PDP Musa Mobi For more on all discussions on Safi Breakfast Show Follow us on Facebook. Visit www.facebook.com forward slash Safia on TV Gotham. Thank you for staying with us on Safia Breakfast Show. Here's a quick reminder that you can follow this broadcast live on stream on Facebook as well as on YouTube. On Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash Safia on TV Gotham. And on YouTube is Gotel TV. I would like for you to click the like button as well as the subscription button so you get update on um, any live broadcast. Uh, let's head on to our Facebook page to find out what the conversation is and how people responded to our talking point. It says, NGO um, urges government to take policy decision on improving welfare of older persons. What's your take on this? And um, you know how older persons are treated in our society, especially those who have served this nation meritoriously for 35 years, 60 years in service. These persons are not taken care of properly. Pensions and gratuity is a nightmare. Well, let's find out what people have to say about this. We take Kenneth Abole Lena. He says, being honest, that is a good decision. It's hardly to see aged man living without being this uh, without being disabled but if this if the government would intervene they would um, manage okay they right. would engage or they would engage in exercise not solo quiet yeah you know, where you sit alone and you think aloud okay so uh in other new uh, <laughs> in other comments says uh, abdomen says the call is timely and relevant 
the federal government needs to put in place a policy framework for health and social care support for older citizens, most of whom have served the country in their various capacity as statesmen during their productive years. Barika Dasafi, I love this precise comment. Hakim Abba, this is a, right, a very good call, a right caller, however, uh, has the government taking the working class serious to warrant them taking care of the old, older ones. We need to take responsibility of some segments in our society, the age one to be more precise, disabled and children of the less privileged. Uh, your, it's a much broader call. Nuyong says it will help a lot if put into consideration because some of them are facing a lot of challenge in the area of their life. And there's a federal government policy also to cater for the elderly, the aged persons in our society. There's a policy on that, in that direction. I think um, let us um, dig deep. We would understand that the government has a policy to that direction, but the implementation is usually the problem. Well, we can, uh, you can be a part of the conversation by following us on our Facebook page once again, www.facebook.com forward slash Safia on TV Gotel. We'll take a break. When we come back, myself and Gechende will be doing Punchline, our in-house editorial. To start with us. For more on all discussions on Safia Breakfast Show, follow us on Facebook. Visit www.facebook.com forward slash Safia on TV Gotham. Cherry news or not cherry news or not too cherry news, whatever the case may be, it is left within the corridor of um, the universities in Nigeria. As it stands right about now, the federal government has approved the registration of um, the rival group, the Congress of University Academics, CONWAP, uh, and um, that obviously is raising a lot of stare. And um, the Minister for Labor and Productivity, Chris Ngige, did say, uh, but they des they deserve enough it uh, for them to emerge because the older union uh, has failed in its responsibility. Therefore, uh, the need for them to have another union to champion the cause of staff as well as uh, you know uh, within the university war. But the the the, 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 the way the, the government is going about it feels as if for me that's just my own two cents on it. As if there is. Um, you know, something secret behind that we are yet to comprehend. Uh, going by how it is, you know, championing the cause for this particular new union to emerge and every other development surrounding it. Uh, it's been in the forefront for its emergence, it's been in the forefront for its registration, and even while it was registered, I don't know if they've spoken about any union that has been registered and, you know, speak in that particular manner, the kind of energy the, uh, it, it's using to drive this particular conversation. And so for me, it's created a bit of a stare because I feel there's something, you know... Isaac, the body language is so clear. It's very, very glaring. Hmm. Break the jinx of Asu. They have they've amassed too much power. Power. Okay. Break them so that we have other chapters or other unions to negotiate with, to talk to, hmm. and make Asu more rele less relevant. Okay, so they, they introduced the same policy that was introduced in Nigeria divide and rule. Okay, it's, just it's, do that. It's, it's, it's a formula obvious. and it's, it's a recipe it's, for really it's not, breaking it's the, the strength hidden, of the bond. It's not a hidden thing. It is obvious. Since ASU is not going to, you know, it's not going to bend, it's mm. not going to, you know, uh, be compromised. ASU is not, it's not fought, you know, or rather, no longer interested in, you know, the gimmicks of the government. It's either you do this or we don't go yeah, back uh, yeah. or we go yeah. on strike or we don't come out of strike, strike and all of that. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's break the, these same um, members of CONWA 
were once members they of were, us. They were, they were. And um, I, 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 I hope we don't tend to see it, but it would definitely happen that same Konoa would oblige because it would get to a point where it will also feel choked by what is happening. We by the are system. still coming back to, so, the, to, the, to, the, to the issue we raised uh, uh, earlier. What goes around comes, comes around. around. Now, Ngige is, is a minister. He's backing Konwa up to be registered. He actually form, formed them. He wants them to be registered. He was will Ngige continue to be minister for power and uh, 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 sorry for labor and productivity for long? Not at all. If another minister comes comes about and says, okay, well, Konwa, yes, you are now registered. We are now mm. a union and all of that. And Konwa also is not satisfied with whatever the minister is going to say. Yeah, yeah. Is it not coming around? So it's it's always good. See. We just have. A system that every one of us will fight for, yep. for it to work, to be effective, to be productive. They're wanting to be compromised. They're wanting to be simply because of some certain interest that doesn't really work for Nigerians. See, the it idea, doesn't make sense. The idea is union, unionism would work effectively if it is a whole. But if Quite it is clear. fragmented, then its strength, its, 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 its force, is broken and that is where this is taking us to and so if unionists would understand this that you can only champion your cause effectively if you come as a whole rather than a fragment then uh, I, I really think am be disappointed. It, it's just like we, 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 we have, you know, we always say uh, the labor uh, union is one formidable force that yeah, always. It, it was fragmented you know, yeah, also. That, and that it, always, we can tell what it is. They are, they are now toothless bulldogs. Because of its fragmentation. And you can tell. And the same thing is happening to us so that we think, okay, so, no, they are fighting the cost of universities to be revitalized. They are fighting for the union of, I mean, for the, for the students to have better lives and better study environment and all of that. But this is what we now have. Yes. Gone down the drain is that popular saying that the only active union that remains in Nigeria is ASU because it has a sister union known as Conwa. And um, I don't know. <laughs> so that's just where we're going to leave it. Very at. unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. Uh, well, this is where we would, uh, you know, drop uh, it on a, uh, what's it called? a punchline. We'll take a break and then we'll come back with our first conversation on the program today.
you very much for joining us once again on Safra Breakfast Show. So let's delve into our conversation for this morning. First up, we are talking political developments in Nigeria, political developments in Adamawa State, and all those things that we need to put in place mm. for us to have a successful election come February 24th. And one of the reasons uh, why we have uh, a very important and of course, a citizen, uh, 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 a city, uh, what's the word again? Uh, more or less, like uh, I'm looking for a particular word to use to qualify him. But nevertheless, let's I'm also talk. Nigerian. Let's Nigerian. also talk about the roadblocks, the some of uh, the strong resistance mm. that has also been in uh, the uh, the political uh, dispensation we've experienced over time in Nigeria. Living, uh, I mean, talking about the level of governance, some dissatisfaction expressed by Nigerians as we also give room for some political developments in the country. We're talking about conflicts that are triggered by utterances of politicians, especially during election, I mean, campaigns, and also, you know, when they go to war, uh, sit, I mean, uh, electorates mm -hmm. to give them their votes and all of that. We've seen some rhetorics by these politicians, you know, that has also triggered some kind of uh, resistance from electorates and some from, you know, uh, op opposing parties in furthering uh, some of their uh, uh, issues in this particular regard. We talk about communal clashes, we talk about ethnic ethnicity as one of the tools they also use to war uh, uh, electorate. We talk about religious uh, uh, alignment to all of these issues. Another issue is of course resource allocations in, within these uh, rival groups we are going to be mentioning. So to bring us up to speed with how we can sanitize the system get ahead of, you know, uh, I mean, get ahead with politics that is free of sentiments, politics that is free of resistance. I mean, talking about how we can vote for a person despite where he belongs to, whether region, religious, I mean, religion or whatever it is that uh, we want to align to. We are going to be talking to uh, Dr. Sonny Monidafe, who is a citizen Season politician and of course someone who knows the gimmicks of politics who has also been in the game and knows how the game is being played. Yeah. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Uh, and just to add before I say good morning to him, he is the Jagaban of Jamaica. A very good morning to you. Thank you. It's <laughs> okay. indeed a big pleasure to have you join us My pleasure here in the studio. Here. Thank you so very much. So, uh, I would say compliment of the season we're yeah, seeing you. because we're uh, seeing him for, yeah, the, first for the first time, time in the year. studio, in the studio. No, she has seen me here. No, for this year, 2020. Oh, this year, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Abuja-based, so. <laughs> but you're not Abuja politician, right? I uh, know. I have to <laughs> shift to Yula because President Mori said all politics is local. Okay. Yeah. When I launched my campaign for national chairmanship last year, I came to my ward, yeah. mm -hmm. declared before the ward, local women in state. Mm. So I've now come to vote from Jimmy Taylor. Interesting. Okay, now let's let's localize this discussion since we are talking uh, local. Uh, I know you are very familiar with uh, some of uh, the campaigns and the campaign promises by some politicians who go around, you know, conversing for votes from their uh, different elect I mean, uh, wards and of course uh, 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 places of uh, elections. Um, most uh, most of them have also been part of the whole peace accord signing to say yes this is what we want we're going to conduct ourselves in mm -hmm. a very peaceful manner during the elections and even after the elections and all of that but more often than not we know that a lot of politicians are not good losers when it comes to you know uh, the result at the end of the day and all that yeah. what do you make of some of the rhetorics some of the talks some of uh, 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 the things you hear during this elect, I mean, during these campaigns, uh, by these politicians in their different areas, they go to to, to converse for votes. Well, thank you very much. I want to modify and answer a question. Let me issue a, issue a disclaimer. Now, I'm an APC member. I'm unapologetic APC member, and I'm aware that uh, our candidate and this vice uh, Tinibu and uh, Kashim Shetima have competent spokesmen that speak for them. So I'm speaking here as a person, Sonny Sylvester Mandafe, 
PhD in view, Jagaban Jimeta. My views, nothing to do with anything that the spokesman for Tinubu will mention. I'm with them, but the way of bringing it out is different. Yeah. Have you said that? <clears throat> One major issue we have in Nigerian politics is that we want to play with God. Before every meeting, we say, we ask for Christian and Muslim prayer. Okay. After we pray, I will tell God to stay aside. I want to help myself. This is very unfortunate. I can imagine God just looking at us and smiling. If God says something is yours, nobody can stop it. But we don't believe that in Nigeria. We pray. I saw one, one uh, video on WhatsApp. Somebody using machine to produce 500 nanos. And he prayed before he did that. I'm like, you want to train these people and you are praying to God. That's how we are in Nigeria. So we don't believe that God will do everything for us in his own time. We want to help ourselves. An, an example is when I contested for national chairmanship. Mm. For about 20 months, I went all over this country selling myself. I didn't hide my story. Proudly, Urobo from Adamawa State. My father came here through the river, 1950, from Brutu by, by boat. I was born here 67 years ago. This is my home. My father's grave is in number 11 Ore Street, Agbaro, Ugeli North, Delta State, close to Ori. My father's grave is here, opposite CPS. I mean, I'm talking about bridge builder. I am the bridge. Now I, con I knew I was qualified, experienced at the party administration. Yeah. But when I didn't get it, mm. I believe that God didn't want me to get it. I moved on. Most politicians don't believe that. So they do what they do. And I want to urge Nigerians, don't join them. Because if it is religion, you find that most families have got Muslim Christians yeah. intertwined. I know, I know your story, young lady. <laughs> Yoruba. We've been here for many years now. Mm. In the short while, you become a Adamawa person. Who can I mention tribe for you? This one is my in-law. In fact, my wife is killed. So we are all one, but people deceive us and say, look, do this, do that, and you do it, you kill yourselves. It is not necessary. But so. over time, it is what we often hear. People come, you know, with the name of religion, they come with the name of where they belong to, eth you know, their ethnic, ethnic group. Yes. Yeah. They come with all manner of things mm. just to be able to get to power. Mm. And we've seen the consequences of this particular kind of politicking you know, over time, what it has done to our system, yeah. what it has done to us as yeah. a people, yeah. what it what it is still doing to us. You know, even to the future, we are we are we we, we are really wanting you know to to, to to change. But it seems the people themselves are now not. Now you are ready. talking. Now you are talking. The politicians have the right to speak. You, the listener, have the right to believe or disbelieve. They also say, "Mumi uh, fada." Mao is mm. a madman. Meiji mm. become a If you are this person speaking, mm. you are mad or whatever. Person here, you should not listen to you. Don't believe them. Issue based. For example, now, uh, uh, Waziri is my good friend. I joined. I joined politics the third time. ACD in 2006. Before then, I was a delegate in Kariwa World, mm. 1990. Another article was with us. Then I came back to contest for us of friends under the UNCP. Before Abacha died, it was cancelled. Then I came back in 2006. I've been with Atiku since 2006. He left, came back, but I refused to move because my focus was on being a, a, a Democrat and being somebody that cares about the people. I stayed focused. I wasn't deceived. I, wasn't, I didn't follow him. Now, if I speak now, I won't be talking against Atiku. I'll be talking on issues that will benefit Nigerians yeah. because truly, when I came here, I came here in December, I took them to stay here until March. They are like, how will you survive? People come and harass you for money. I said, look, the kind of person I am, if I have money, I will give. If I don't have, I'll tell it to your face. I cannot do. They are not like that. Now, the believers, the people out there that do the voting should please be aware. Don't let them deceive you. Again. Don't just talk next week <coughs> again. Again. Now, for example, I was told when I was young that, yeah. I was the leader of tomorrow. Mm. I'm a grandfather now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you are yet to lead. But, 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 but how, how do you think the people can detach themselves from this popular sword ideology? Because it's been like grounded in the minds of the people that 
they are carried away, they are swept off their feet with this bandwagon effect. And the mentality is really telling on them. Why you try to preach this epistle to them that you don't need to follow the crowd? They still follow the crowd. And the politicians are taking on due advantage of this. How do you think the well, people can detach well, themselves? There's a popular say which I've been rephrasing so many things. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. I have to redefine it. It starts with an idea. Hmm. Once you have the idea, it started. The next day, just take the step and move. Now, it has been done over the, over the years. If you are wise, you ask yourself, the person that is telling me this thing, like the author says, if somebody comes to give you a shirt, look at what he's wearing. Okay. Now, they talk to you and they deceive you. Why must you keep falling for the same thing over and over again? Be wise. I tell people, look, nothing to hide. PDP, APC, we are one. NMPB, whatever, we are all one. Just stay with where you believe you are going to add value to the whole system. I don't know about yourself. Mm. One thing you must realize is that from the day you are born, even a, a baby, the day the baby was born, it's no longer about the baby. God first, your parents and people second, mm. your desires at this and third. We must inculcate that in people. Having said that, people are in a hurry to make money, to enjoy and trust Nigeria. You will go and then you will say, I don't have my. Mm. Go to the church and give testimony. They will hey, praise the Lord. But for Christ's sake, what have you done? God is watching you. And down the line, you will be in trouble. Uh, my, my, my campaign team, my management, my people don't want to say, Where am I? Sir, if you're going somewhere, please don't tell anybody. They can come and kill you or kidnap you. Come and kidnap, kill me. I don't care. We so people are not like that. Okay. They want to make every place they are. Like a kingdom. Mm. They want to become lovers of the small kingdom. Whatever they say becomes law. You, the followers, you say, no, we don't agree. Mm. It's up to us. Now, you, you've, you've been in politics for a very long time, and um, that, by description, would mean that you have a better understanding of how the political space in Nigeria operates. Mm -hmm. And um, you know pretty well that kind of politics we play is a zero sum game. It's a winner takes it all syndrome. And that, on its own, brought about the infusion of desperation into our politics. And that is why they go extra mile in trying to really want to get into power, doing all manner of things just to get into power. How did, would you describe we got to where we are today? In terms of describing the political again, character? Again, it is up to us. Now, people like me, we are very few. But right now, I'm at peace with myself. For example, coming here, I could have had police escort or whatever. I said, no, I'll drive myself. Now, people want to just go in somewhere. It's about themselves, definitely. Now, I am aiming my comment today at the viewers, at the voters. Hmm. Don't, let, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. See somebody that will, that means of your needs, that will be in a party, a progressive. Hmm. I was looking for that word earlier. Hmm. A progressive that will care about the people. Follow that person. Will you get the result of an act? No. But stay focused. We want quick results in Nigeria. That's our yeah, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Quick results in Nigeria is our problem. And I don't want to talk about personal, I'm talking about issues. Issues. Yeah. If for example, when 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 in nineteen ninety nine when the PDP took over, if for example they not sold at Jakuta, which I was told was ninety five percent completed in 1999, 95%, only 5%. If they had completed that 5%, in Ajakuta now, will have had direct employment, about 500,000 people, direct employment. Mm. Minus hospitals, markets, shops, name them, across, spiral effect. Mm. If uh, the people meet in uh, Jeba, in uh, Koyukuku, in uh, uh, where are they, the story meet in Jos, in Katsina, Oshobo, Name them. If they had not been sold, by now we'll have had a lot of employment going on. Now, was it deliberate? I don't know. But right now, we're at a stage where people, have, people feel impoverished, people feel desperate, and they want to help themselves. It does not work like that. When you're in that situation, anybody can deceive you. Mm. I want to urge uh, people in Adama, people that can watch me all over the world, incidentally. Mm. Maybe I'll give you a bill because right now, you will be watched, you have been watched all over the world. Yeah. To the degree of God, I'm, I think I'm an international figure. Mm. If my company was sent via, was viewed via WhatsApp all over the yeah. world, mm. they are watching. 
please let us stay focused. It's about yourself. It's about your. It's about your future. Yeah. We have let's, to do something right. Let's People that do these things are benefiting. Mm, sure. Let's go back to talk to politicians like yourself, mm. those who you know are at the steering wheel, you know, of governance mm. of 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 whatever it is uh, 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 the nation is going through right about now. They call the shots. The people only follow. Mm. If they don't come out to want to show interest that they want to lead, the people would would not have options to vote for. But these same people are the ones who either direct us on the right path or direct us to the wrong path based on you know their ideology or based on what they want. Yeah. Uh, why I'm saying this is a politician comes out and not talk about the issue that will favor Nigerians. Mm -hmm. They come out, they don't talk about you know how they're going to fix A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. They don't come with solutions to our problems. Mm -hmm. And that is what they saw in the first place that you know gave them the interest for wanting to you know vie for whatever position they, they, they are vying for. But instead they want to talk down on A, they want to talk down on B. He was in power in so so year yeah, and years yeah. and did not do A. And B. Character, rubbish character. Yeah. I know that. When do we you know, start correcting some of these uh, uh, narratives. When can do I, can we I start you quickly? Yeah. Let me tell you quickly. Um, the world now has become, it was, it's no longer a global village. It's a global parlor that has no walls. In America, Donald Trump got about 73 million voters. Mm. And uh, anybody that has been following American politics was expecting, they call it, they call it the red wave midterm, two years, something. Mm. The, demo, the, the Republicans lost hopefully because the people, even though they have voted for Trump in 2001, mm. mm. realized that this man doesn't mean well. So he still has followers, but he's losing all over the place on a daily basis because the people have been speaking. We sit down and we say we want to be free. Nobody will free you. You have to fight for We have to people. fight for when we say fight, it might send the wrong signal. Okay. Yeah. You have to really work at being free. Mm. Mm. Not fighting, no. Mm. So, mm. You are not yeah. people, yeah. but yeah. 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 So just do the right thing and say, no, you refuse. The red wave that was expected didn't happen. In fact, the Democrats are back in control of the Senate. If you have just a few seats, it took about 13 votes for the House of Reps uh, member of the Republican to become the Speaker. Mm. They had to negotiate so many things. Mm. People have, are speaking. So we can do the same thing in Nigeria. Look at us, look, this is what we want. I don't campaign, but for Christ's sake, right now we have a, 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 a governmental candidate. Nobody ever expected it. That's the kind of thing we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We must decide the to people, make a difference. Do you think the people have the capacity Let me to force Of course we do. Who wants that vote? Now you see, electoral cannot be signed. They lambasted the president and he signed it. It's all there now. It's up to us. Power has been given to us. I was a delegate to the National Convention, Prime Minister of APC, mm -hmm. because the track was signed, and some parts did not allow for any substitute delegate to vote. Only the three of us that were elected by the local government voted. Another man said 21 local governments, 63 of us only voted. I was there in Abuja. Now, if we had wanted our, our, our independence, mm. we'd have spoken there. But there's still some element of control, which is not really good. Because I remember when Donald Trump, not Trump, Obama was elected. Okay. He came to Ghana and he said, this century is not the time to build uh, individuals, but institutions. Which is why I deliberately propagate this issue of Jacoba. We have to reinvent institutions. At the same time, yeah. tell people that you can be free to make your choice. Because that's what's happening. People sit down there. We have seen a situation where in Nigeria, one big man that during the year he, he attends your son's naming ceremony, he goes for weddings, he visits when uh, somebody's not well, yeah. election time comes, he will say, they will come, in fact, they will meet you in Amukadufa, where we headed. It's okay, go this way, they will vote. A time as one will say, look, with due respect, sir, this is what I think we should do. And the right thinking man who has confidence, who has high self-esteem, would not allow such to bother him. But how do you think we can, you know, start change this change? Because I believe, I'm very, I, I'm optimistic in life. 
I am not a pessimist, but I believe that uh, why you clamor for this, this, uh, this is what this is what a lot of uh, you know civil society group are even advocating for. But let's be realistic, as you mentioned. Let's let's try to be realistic. A lot of these persons who are the electorate, who have the larger constituency within their hands, it's just one candidate, and you need the vote of a larger number of yeah. percentage yeah. for you to emerge yeah. the winner of um, you know any in any capacity yeah. you're vying yeah. for. But we we'll oftentimes have you know a debate around the quality of these persons, mostly impoverished. As we speak, some weeks ago we were talking about people who were alleged to be selling their PVCs for for peanuts. Yeah. Yeah. In, in in northwestern Nigeria, yeah. we have others in the southern southeastern part of the country and southern. It might even be happening here. It might even be happening here. Yeah. How do you think we can you know walk around you know improving the quality of these persons? Before I answer that question, let me take a poke at the civil society groups. They are part of our problem. In what sense? Because you see, a civil society group will emerge in one place and they will go and pay for a house for three years. Get hired the best cars, make their house look beautiful. Who told them that the crisis in that area will last for three years? Question. Okay. It's having a rhetorical that, statement. Yeah. Having said, <laughs> having said that, it still boils down to individuals. Okay. Because it's food, you now look at, okay, we are trying to do this. What do I have to judge you by? How did you perform last time? For example, I come out today and I want to aspire for, let's say, governorship of the Mount mm, State. Okay. I won't try it. In maybe 2027, I want to aspire for governorship. People should look at me and say, look, what did this man do mm. in the past mm -hmm. that justifies record. this? You must have a, a, a record that you have said, not that you have done. That we can point at. I'm not campaigning. I'm sorry, but I'm here. I should have been going somewhere. But look at this uh, Senator Bilani now. She has touched people. I was a member of the ACN in 2011 when she was in the House of Reps, PDP. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah. I'm here. I wrote her letter thanking her for what she has done. She's impacting people. That's the bottom line. Now, if you impact people, don't expect instant results. That's our problem. Okay. I, not, I helped them, then they didn't vote for me. You get angry and back off. Just stay consistent. It will happen. Bottom line, individuals have the right to decide what to do. Okay. Uh, and, and subject to cajoling, because a lot of them feel cajoled when these persons, uh, they've surrendered their will to these persons, and so they, they, they cajoled easily. Uh, and before you know it, they, 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 we, we do the same wrong thing. And um, over and over. Different, yeah. different result at the end of the which is not possible. Mm. Uh, we are counting days. It's just about 36 days, so the uh, you know presidential election. Mm. And we have well over 84 million Nigerians who will be. I said 93 last time I checked. Yeah. Uh, on INEX, uh, you know, uh, Portal. Portal is showed mm. about 84 million and um, 40,000 Nigerians who will be taking part in the election. Uh, speak to who me. Are expected to who are expected to take part in the 